I'm Charlie. This is how I do it. So I would planned on making this YouTube channel uh, to pair alcohol and food together. And then the world got really, really scary. And it got a little harder to get the stuff that I wanted to make. So I decided, screw it. Let's do it anyway. And let's try to make things with what we have on hand. So today we're going to make uh, not classic tiramisu. Uh, using what we have on hand because I don't have espresso. I don't have an espresso maker. I don't have Marsala. I don't know that I've ever even bought Marsala and I don't have Amaretto. So we're going to make a tiramisu using cognac and the darkest coffee that I had in my pantry, uh, which is some kind of dark roast from Starbucks that I bought probably while hungover. Uh, we're going to pair that with an espresso martini. I don't have Kahlua, but what I've got is this Italian espresso liqueur, uh, which is almost as sweet as uh, Kahlua. And of course, we have the Tito's vodka. So let's go ahead and get making. So first, we're going to take uh, about two cups of our coffee, pour it into a flat bottomed pan. It will make life easier uh, later. And then we're going to take our uh, eight by eight baking dish. And that's where we're going to assemble uh, the tiramisu. And we're going to take an ounce of cognac, uh, which I had on hand from making a drink on Valentine's Day. So fortunately had that. It's not expensive cognac, uh, but it tastes good and it's alcoholic. So give that a little shake. So we've got these lady fingers, uh, Alessi. I don't know. I was able to get it on Amazon. They were the only lady fingers I could actually get delivered. So we're going to take them. You don't want to soak these. You want to just dip them because lady fingers will fall apart. So we're going to take 24 and we're going to just give them a little dip and then set them in the baking dish. And as you can see, we're just lining the dish. Uh, I guess I should make mention, if you haven't, and I have, wash your hands. In fact, just wash your hands all the time. Wash your hands until your hands are like an 80-year-old woman's hands and they're just rough and gross. And if you're an 80-year-old woman, I apologize, but that's how my hands feel right now. So we're just going to keep doing this until we have a full layer on the bottom of the dish. If you have to break the lady fingers up to make them fit, that's fine. No one's going to care. No one's going to see them anyway. They're going to get covered. So just break them up as you need to get a nice bottom layer on the pan. Good enough. So now, get the coffee off the fingers. We're gonna get a bowl. And again, look, I get it. Some of you out there are gonna say that's not tiramisu because you're using heavy cream. Uh, this is the tiramisu that I'm making today. So um, I get it. It is not real tiramisu and that's okay. Yes, there's a trash can down here. I'm not just cracking eggs on the floor. So all we want are the egg yolks. So crack your egg. We're gonna go four egg yolks into this bowl. Uh, crack the egg on the flat surface. Uh, it'll break easier. Um, and you'll have uh, slightly less of a mess to deal with than if you uh, cracked them on the edge. So get your, good enough. Four egg yolks. Try to keep any shells out because Shells do not make good tiramisu. And yes, I get it. This is the boring part of any cooking, but trust me, it gets slightly better. And you may or may not hear my dog. He's kind of an idiot. Uh, so... 
rinse the eggs off the hands, give them a little, little dry. And then we want to get our sugar. And we are going to get half a cup of sugar but we're gonna split it. So a quarter, so half of the, half a cup, so a quarter of a cup into the egg yolk. We're gonna keep back the other half for the cream. And you just wanna whip it with a hand mixer. Get it going and turn up the gas until you have ribbons in there. So you can see it looks kind of like cake batter. That's kind of the consistency you want. So we're gonna take this, we're gonna set it aside. We'll be back for that. Now, in a separate bowl, you're going to take your the rest of your sugar, put it in, and out of the fridge, three quarters of a cup of heavy cream and just dump it right in there. Then you're gonna just grab your mixer and right back to beating. Now this time, instead of making ribbons, we wanna make medium peaks. You're essentially making whipped cream here. So once you start to see the bubbles, you crank your mixer up on high and just stand here for, I don't know, two minutes, three minutes, however long it takes you to get whipped cream. All right, there it is. You want kind of medium peaks, which is exactly what we're looking for. So we will shake these off, toss them in the sink. We don't need them anymore. Get our first mixture. Everybody in. And what you want to do once you've got everyone in is you want to just fold the egg yolk mixture there we go into the whipped cream you don't want to stir it you'll lose your whipped cream so you're just going to cut it in half and fold cut in half and fold and if you've ever made any type of mousse or uh, pudding with a whipped cream yeah there's the dog you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Now at this point, you wanna get eight ounces of mascarpone cheese and a spoon, and you wanna add that in, and we're just gonna to continue to fold in the mascarpone cheese. So now once everything is incorporated and folded in, you want to take about half of it and spread it out. It doesn't have to be perfect. Again, this is, there's no points for beauty here. This is all about taste. So then go back and start layering on your lady fingers. All right, so once you have all of your lady fingers in and your coffee fingers off, you're gonna add the last bit of your glaze, topping, I don't know, whatever you wanna call this, icing. Let's just, we'll call it icing. I don't know if that's the right word for this, but eh, who cares? So get that on there, and then you're gonna get some uh, cocoa powder. I've got Hershey's Special Dark. Uh, I don't have a sifter, so we're just gonna use our fingers and just kinda sprinkle this on the top. Just enough to cover it. Now, you're gonna put this in the refrigerator when you're all done and you got rid of your chocolate fingers. 
and you want to let this sit for 24 hours in the fridge. And while this is sitting, we're going to go ahead and make our martini. So this is a shaken martini. So you're going to two ounces of vodka. I said we're using Tito's because, well, because I could get it delivered. And we're going to use half an ounce of espresso liqueur. This is a heavy half ounce, maybe closer to three quarters of an ounce. Uh, since this is sweetened, I'm not going to use simple syrup. Uh, if this were a unsweetened liqueur, uh, you would add a half an ounce of simple syrup. And we're going to take some of this coffee, uh, about three quarters of an ounce, pour it in as well. We're going to take our ice. We've got one big ice cube and a handful of smaller ice cubes. And give it a shake. Now, we're going to use a coupe glass because with this mustache, martini glasses are a horrible idea. We're going to strain that into our cocktail glass. Get it all out of there. And we are going to garnish with a couple, that's five, coffee beans. And through the magic of the internet, we have our tiramisu. So first, let's taste the tiramisu. Lots of coffee, lots and lots of coffee. Um, the cognac doesn't really shine through, so you could use uh, maybe a little bit more if you really like that cognac flavor. Um, <clears throat> if you don't like coffee, this is not the dessert for you. Um, lots of coffee. Uh, the lady fingers uh, held together nicely, even though they soaked up quite a bit of coffee. Just enough sweetness uh, to cut through the bitterness of the coffee. Let's see how it goes with our uh, espresso martini. Well, that's good. It's sweet. Um, definitely doesn't need the simple syrup if your uh, liqueur is sweetened. So if you're using Kahlua, or if you're using this um, Night Gabriello Italian Espresso Liqueur, you don't need any uh, syrup. If you were using something like, like a Mr. Black or I don't think Patron's coffee liqueur is uh, sweetened, but I don't know how a tequila-based uh, coffee liqueur would taste um, in this drink. Might be good. I like tequila, so... Mm. Tastes like coffee. I mean, there's no other way to, to say it. This, uh, especially while in quarantine, um, since like most of you, I'm drinking a lot. Uh, this might be the perfect breakfast. It's coffee with liquor and liquor with coffee. Um, could maybe use a little bit of a heavier pour of the coffee, not the uh, liquor, uh, the tequila and the coffee, li or the, sorry, the vodka and the coffee liqueur are perfectly balanced. This is going to be a dangerous drink. Um, I'm going to make my wife one later tonight and see how she uh, feels about it. But yeah, it's good. It's very, very good. So, um, I'll have the recipe for the uh, 
quarantine tiramisu down in the pinned comment below. Um, yes, I know it's not real tiramisu. Um, before any of you uh, start complaining that I used cream when it should have just been all egg yolks, well, um, eggs aren't exactly super easy to get a hold of right now. So uh, I added cream, and I know I don't have amaretto or marsala, but um, you make do with what you've got. It's a perfectly fine uh, dessert. Let me move this mustache out of the way. Mm. I'm glad we've got two of these now. So, uh, thanks for watching. My name is Charlie. This is how I do it. I have a Twitter account. It's how.i.doit on Twitter. My Instagram is the same. It's how.i.doit. And I have a blog. It's howcpdoesit.com because the guy who owns howidoit.com uh, wants seven grand for the uh, domain. And I don't have seven grand. It's quarantine. Uh, we're, we're getting by. But I'm not buying any domains. So um, if you liked what you saw, hit like, hit subscribe. Uh, what is this? Ring the bell so you get notified the next time uh, I post uh, video. Um, we'll be doing a lot of the food and drink pairings. So if you like this and if it's just slightly different enough from what everybody else is doing on YouTube uh, that you want my personal take on food and alcohol, uh, I'm not a chef. So don't, don't hold me to any of my recipes. This is just how I do it. Have a good day.